morning, St. Francis. Good morning, people of God. It is uh, Friday, the 11th day of August 2023, Friday of the 18th week of the year, the 18th week in ordinary time. But it is also today the great, wonderful feast of Holy Mother Claire, uh, the foundress of the poor Clares, the uh, poor sisters, um, the um, uh, Claritines, uh, however you want to call them, point have you. Uh, so it is, it is a day in which we honor all Franciscan women, uh, all those inspired by uh, Claire's um, ability to get what it is that she wanted, um, a rule that she wrote and not one that was imposed upon her uh, by some bishops or priests or popes or whatever, uh, someone who was confident in knowing what it was uh, that she wanted um, her sisters, her community to do, to live out uh, the life that Francis uh, had begun to etch um, uh, as, as a life of, of poverty, of giving, of selflessness, of prayer, of understanding who we want God to be uh, for human beings, for humankind. Um, and so we honor today uh, Claire, all, all poor Claire's, all Francisco sisters. Um, uh, let's see, where am I? I am back at Heathrow, London Heathrow, um, and this is one of the garden, um, uh, the garden obser uh, observation decks uh, here at Terminal 3. Uh, now, it took forever to get here uh, because the connection in Dublin was late because the pilots missed the bus that takes them from the parking lot to the terminal here to then fly back over to Dublin and then fly back again. And then we couldn't get the door open for the plane. So, finally here, um, about ready to board in a few minutes. I think that's my plane in the back over there. Uh, but it is, it's an interesting kind of a thing, this nice little dark area uh, where you can see the flights coming in and going. Uh, we have a real feel of let me get from here. Um, uh, today's readings are special readings for Claire. Um, again, the thing with uh, the sanctoral readings sometimes, especially for the women, they're, they're, they're kind of dry and nondescript. They're not all that great. Uh, but, uh, but the readings for today that are in the lectionary itself, uh, the book of Deuteronomy, where basically uh, Moses tells the people to remember what it was that God did for them and how what God did for them is unlike anything else that any other deity, real or imagined, would ever have done for a people. Um, and so the idea is to be faithful to that, faithful to that memory, faithful to what it is uh, that God not just hasn't done for Israel, but will continue to do for Israel. That is the wonderful and glorious thing um, about this relationship that God has with Israel is that it's based upon remembrance, constant remembrance, remembrance again and again and again, because through remembering, life is given. Through remembering, we grow. Through remembering, we find an anchor. Through remembering, we become the people that God intends us to be. Um, in the... Uh, in the, in the Gospel today from, from Matthew, uh, again, Jesus goes into, uh, again, uh, t uh, following him by taking up one's cross. And, and, and again, it, it, this idea of not just, it's not about suffering, it's not about hurting ourselves or being in pain, but it is more about the idea of being a people who, um, again, understand the fact that suffering is a part of our life, but it is not something that we uh, should never be afraid of, or something that we believe destroys us, or something that can undo us, because we find our life, our, our center, our hope with God. And that is what makes all the difference. Um, in that also, uh, Jesus basically gives very good advice saying, you know, if you gained everything in the world, but then lost yourself, you know, in, in the midst of it, well, what have you gained, really? I mean, just to kind of sacrifice everything that you believe in, everything that you hope for, everything that you that you could stand for, um, everything that gives value and, and, and life and hope to the world for success really isn't really success. And it is, really isn't what it is we're called to be uh, and called to deceive ourselves with. Uh, true success, true uh, value in life, true fulfillment in life comes from recognizing the glory and wonder of who and what we are without having society and culture tell us what it is that we should be or have to be. That is a wonderful and glorious uh, witness that we give as believers to the world and something we must never forget. Another thing to remember, especially on this day of Claire, and to remember her great perseverance, her tenacity, uh, and her ability uh, to get what it is that she believed God was asking her to do uh, from those who might have opposed it, might have thought that it was wrong. Um, may we always uh, be, have that kind of courage to be able to do what Claire did in our own lives as believers. A blessed day, St. Francis and people of God, may the Lord give you his peace.